Hey guys, welcome to episode 14 of the Packers Let's Play 2019 Madden. We won one Super Bowl. We're trying to repeat for another. We're in good position to get into the playoffs at least. Win our division and much, much more. Let's take a quick look at how things are going for the Packers. Last time we left off, there was a win over to Minnesota. That's not what I wanted. I wanted the uh, schedule. So you can see that score there, but let's go over this. So we had the Vikings beating the Vikings 30 to 24, a win over the Broncos. Let's take a win look at that. Player statistics, Aaron Rodgers out dueling Case Keenum, but not having a great game. Two and two versus one and three rushing wise. Packers only. Uh, 3.4 yards carry is not great. Receiving Kareen. Kareen, I bet you that's how you say his name. Lauderdale had a big game. Jordan Matthews. Cordell Patterson coming back down to earth. And defensively. Absolutely no sacks on Case Keenum. And only one, three interceptions. Josh Jones, Jake Ryan, and Josh Jackson. So that was our... Broncos game. Then we stumbled and bumbled against the Raiders. It was bad news. The Packers outgained everything, but I don't know. They just could not knock it in. So let's take a look here. Look at that. Both quarterbacks played really well, except Aaron Rodgers had, I don't know, at least two times, almost two times as much yardage. One TD each. Um... 76% completion passer reading and to only score that many points is amazing. Let's just look at the Packers rush 2.8 and 2 yards. But it's, there you go. Robert Kelly just took the game over and the Packers just could not do anything about it. So that's the reason why even with Devontae Adams 166 yard game with a long of 24 the Packers just not able to do anything we had got to the quarterback two times and no interceptions again so I think Kenny Clark was out in that game and it was not good now come back and we just dominate a very good Rams team you can see here the Rams only scored six points player statistic wise ah Jared Goff got hurt he was a uh, one pass, two attempts got hurt on the second attempt, and then Brandon Nicholas came in, and he was just overmatched by Aaron Rodgers. Three touchdown, one interception. Rushing-wise, Todd Gurley did not have a good game, but Aaron Jones was the leading back with 3.4 yards of carry. Receiving-wise, the Packers had Devontae Adams have a great game and spread the ball pretty well to the top three. Defensively, we had two sacks from Clayton Matthews, run from Mike Daniels, and one interception from Jake Ryan. Moving down the list here, Rams, then the Chiefs. The Packers' defense has been really picking it up lately. Patrick Mahomes did not have a great game. As you can see, five interceptions. Aaron Rodgers had kind of a bleh game too, two and two, but when you have five interceptions, you know, that's going to stop. The game, Kareem Hunt with the best yardage there, receiving-wise. It was uh, Jimmy Graham leading the way. And the Chiefs have Tyreek Hill, and, and he had kind of an off game. So defensively, the Packers had, let's see what we got here, two sacks, Coney Early, and then interceptions-wise, Two for Josh Jackson, one for Jari Alexander, one for Jake Ryan, and one for Josh Hawkins getting in the mix there. Mm -hmm. And followed by the last game, which we just had, you saw the score for the Lions and the Packers. And Rodgers, three touchdowns. The Lions had none. Still can't run the ball well. Jim McGam being our leading receiver. And defensively, 
Getting two sacks for Clay Matthews. He's happy I didn't trade him. Paying me back in dividends. So there we go. That's where we stand right now with that. We do not have... We have to win the game. If we win the game, we win the division. So I guess we have the tiebreaker over the Minnesota Vikings. So, as you can see, in the NFC side right now, Packers and Saints and Redskins, who have the tiebreaker over the Packers, are fighting for that number one seed right now. The Packers are holding it, and the Saints are right behind them with Drew Brees. So, we're going to continue to play the game. We still are unable to sign. I tried to get Kenny Clark to come down on his demand for a big signing bonus, but he said, uh-uh. So, we're going to try to get Kenny Clark done before the end of the year and Blake Martinez, and I think Mike Daniels is just going to walk because we just don't have the cash. So, we're going to lose our right our best right end, so Coney early probably goes to right end. Lose a right tackle, a right guard, a left end, or kicker, right outside linebacker. I mean, it's just, and these two yahoos right here. So, I'm going to be drafting some offensive line again. So, there we go, guys. See you in a little bit. Well, guys, it it, it didn't go so well. The, uh, the Chargers game, let me, uh, Give me a quick little rundown here. 45 to 24 loss. It was uh, it's not good, and it's unfortunate because now we're at the Saints, and we need one more win to win the division. So it's it's not we're not safe yet. Four touchdowns, 300 yards for him. He was pretty phenomenal, rushing wise. Melvin Gordon lit us up. Defense didn't show up at all. Offensively, Cordell Patterson led the charge. Kyrene Lauderdale, Jimmy Graham. Defensively, we got three sacks, but no interceptions, and we got, we got crushed. And now we have to face the Saints. So that's that's uh, that's that's. That's not good at the Saints, but hopefully we can get something done here. Also, we signed, uh, we did end up signing Kenny Clark and Kenny Clark to a five year deal and Blake Martinez to a five year deal. And now we're back at a negative 11 million with Michael Dan Mike Daniels left to be signed. So um, I'm not sure that we're going to get that done, but we're going to try our best to franchise him at the end of the season. And the rest of these guys, unfortunately, Aaron Rodgers cost you the ability to be part of this wonderful organization. So the rest of them are going to walk. And uh, we will go from there. We're going to have a new <laughs> whole right side of our line next year because we're going to lose Brian Balaga and Corey Lindsley. So I need to do my training and get my game started uh, and uh, figure out... If we win, we're in. If we lose, we, uh, we get, we're, we're getting nervous. So, doesn't show. I have to go to the, team or the, the season schedule real quick here. League schedule. Let's see who the Vikings are playing. The Vikings are playing the Chargers. And then uh, the Vikings are at. The Lions are at the Vikings, so they got a good chance of, of winning out. So let's let's go, guys. Let's get this done. Let's get this win. It wasn't a great game. Aaron Rodgers didn't play great. Drew Brees didn't play great. The defense didn't play great. But we pulled off a win by scoring a whole bunch of points in the second half. 27-18. So... Let's take a look at the statistics here, and you can see that Aaron Rodgers threw two touchdowns, one interception. Drew Brees, once again, three interceptions. He likes the Packers. 
rushing Alvin Kamara was pretty pretty solid. Ty Montgomery was even more solid on a shorter amount of carries, seven carries. Receiving, let's just look at the Packers. Geronimo Allison, one catch was for 49 yards. Not a great passing game for Aaron Rodgers. And that's unfortunate because one sack for Mohamed Wilkerson. Josh Jackson with two interceptions. Should take over Kent for Kentrell Bryce and uh, Jerry Alexander. I'm a little nervous because Aaron Rodgers has played two poor games in a row. And he is fighting for the MVP, which, I mean, that'd be pretty solid, huh? Get the MVP. Hey, our backup safety just got run support. We'll do hybrid for him. Nice. Lots of points. Um, see if we take a look at, at uh, stats and then awards, yearly awards. See, Drew, Drew Brees is in second to Aaron Rodgers for the MVP here. Coach of the Year, Mike McCarthy is third. NFC, Offensive Player of the Year is Aaron Rodgers, Defensive Player of the Year. Jake Ryan is second on the list there. Rookie of the Year, got two, fourth, third, and fourth. Defensive Player of the Year. Our backup linebacker, best quarterback, Aaron Rodgers. We just got to get through one more game. No running backs for best running back. Devontae Adams is third. Best O-line is David Bakhtiari. Best defensive lineman. There's Mike Daniels. Take Ryan again. Josh Jackson is now in first. Ooh. He just jumped up from that double interception. Best kicker, Mason Crosby. Tyreen's going to be out for four weeks. That's okay. That'll put him in the playoffs. Come back during the playoffs, so... Sad, but not terrible. We can afford it. Well, here we go, guys. The Packers and the Saints have clinched their division. The Packers have the tiebreaker over the Saints. So if the Packers win, they'll get the one seed. If the Saints win and the Packers lose, they'll get the one seed. The Packers would have to contest with the Cowboys... For the two seed. So they could go anywhere two to three, I would assume. I don't think they can go for four. But the Vikings can get in playoffs and the Seahawks have been eliminated, so that's good. All right, because the Cardinals are eight and six. The Rams are nine and six. With one game to go, yeah. Nine and six Rams. They haven't won the division yet, they can still lose to the Cardinals apparently. Here we go on an AFC side. The Chargers clinched their division with a nine and five record, and the Jets did with a eight and seven record. That's kind of funny. So this episode, for this part, I'm gonna go through our where are they now list and look at. How the players did. I don't know. Well, maybe I'll be okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna figure out where they are this week before I play the game, and then next week I'll look at their stats. We're gonna do a where are they now and uh, rate our draft picks. And uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Okay. So remember, the Saints traded up to get our second round pick, and they got Jimmy Quick with their first, with that pick, um, Jimmy Quick, and he didn't play at all. And uh, you can see that he's a 69 overall linebacker, third on the depth chart, 24 year old. We got, from that, we got our starting center and an outside linebacker. Uh, left outside linebacker who I don't think played, but hey, we got a starting center, so so we traded down and got our center and uh, 
practice squad player, I, I believe. Brandon Kilgo is on our practice squad. Let's take a look here. On, nope, nope, he's on defense. Yep, okay, so he's our third linebacker. Did he get any plays? Look at that. He got more plays. See, he's got two tackles. On, oh, I have to go to general. 22 snaps. So available, played in six games, got 22 snaps, two tackles. Did better than the Saints player. Was dropped in the second round. Better rated because he's a 70. So yeah, that was a win for the Packers. Not a great win, but it was a win. All right, we're going to start our little where are they now segment. And Mercedes Lewis, who was not resigned by the Packers, joined the Raiders with Jared Cook. And is a now a 79 overall. He was an 85 when we let him go. So he has really regressed. And there you go. He had three receptions for 26 yards so far. Um, obviously, there's one more game to go. but And they signed him to a one-year $960,000 deal. So, yeah, well, yeah. So, he's with Oakland.
Ah, sorry about that, guys. 46 seconds of uh, silence there. My microphone was uh, not working. And uh, so you saw the score that the Packers won in overtime with, like, no time left. But they just let the Giants, like, be in this game, and they shouldn't have been. I mean, I could go over it again. Aaron Rodgers, 410 yards, three touchdowns, one interceptions. One interception. And that paint or Eli Manning looked pretty good considering he didn't have uh, Odell Beckham Jr. You know, Dante Adams had a good game. Jimmy Graham had a good game. Jordan Matthews had a good game. So, I mean, he just couldn't ask for much more. Uh, look at this. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, four sacks there. He had an interception by Jairi Alexander. So, unbelievable that. They struggled so much. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching that episode. Um, that was episode 14, I believe. Uh, like, subscribe, comment. Next uh, next year's Packers, I'm gonna I'm gonna be a little more. I'm gonna record more on each game instead of just rehashing what happened in the previous game. So look at that. Oof. A little confidence, kind of 94. He's got some. Trucking going on and carrying, release, short route, stiff arm, catching traffic. He's looking pretty, pretty good. Devontae Adams there. So, all right, guys, see you in episode 15.